Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bright Founders Talk at Temi. Temi is an international software development company that designs, builds, and delivers software for sustainable businesses and promising startups. My name is Matthew, and I'm joined today by Vivica van Rosen, who is the co founder of Vengreso, amongst other things. Um, which we'll find out soon enough. Uh, Vivica, how are you today? Excellent. I am so glad to be here. And I love that you said that about um, being in South Africa and, you know, the the bandwidth not always there because the one thing with Riverside is everything's fine until we hit record, <laughs> 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 which is what's happening right now. But I could, I could hear you clearly. And um, I just love the fact that we can do business anywhere. My other house is in Costa Rica and... I mean, how cool is it? We have an international audience. A lot of entrepreneurs can work anywhere they want. And it just really opens up what's possible for us. Absolutely. It's fantastic what we're capable of today. Um, Vivica, would you like to tell our audience and our listeners a little bit about yourself and uh, what what it is that you do? So I'm Vivica Von Rosen. Uh, I'm a LinkedIn and um, entrepreneur expert, speaker, trainer. I've been teaching on LinkedIn since 2005. I've had a few LinkedIn companies, the most recent being Vengresso. We were a LinkedIn and social selling and social video um, training company, and we actually pivoted to software uh, almost two years ago. So it's been an interesting adventure to make that pivot. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a serial entrepreneur. Fantastic. That's great. So I was having a look at your LinkedIn profile. It looks a lot better than yep. mine. So you know, I can see <laughs> you your skills to good use. And tell us a bit about this. Um, you say you're a serial entrepreneur. Tell us about some of the yep. things that you get in, into. Where does your inspiration come from? It's both the carrot and the stick. So like one of my first businesses was I ran a tax store, horse gear. Um, because I loved horses. So, you know, of course, one begins, a, you know, opens up a store to sell horse stuff. What I found is that do what you love and the money will follow. Sometimes works and sometimes not. Sometimes doing what you love, um, you start hating it when it's a business. So <laughs> you have to be very, very careful about doing what you love. Um, if you love it so much that you will love doing a business of it, that's awesome. If not, do something else that you love and let your 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 hobbies and your creativity and your crafts remain hobbies, creativity and craft. Um, another example I didn't learn the first time was uh, I used to be a hang glider pilot. I guess I still am. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to be a hang gliding instructor. So I got all the certifications. I was a hang gliding instructor. And of course, the second you start teaching something, sometimes you stop doing it in real life. So after crashing hang gliders a few times, went, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this. And then, you know, fast forward several, several years, I was running a business I didn't love. I was, a, I, I had, I was partners in a uh, kind of a WeWork type space before there was WeWork, right? So it was executive offices, co-share space before they were called co-share space. I loved aspects of it, but what I realized is I'm not like a great manager of people and that was what I was doing most of my time. So when I was introduced to LinkedIn, while I didn't love LinkedIn, I mean, I didn't even know really what it was because we're talking 2004, I thought this could be really, really cool business. And so what happened was, is I learned more about LinkedIn as I started talking about it more, as I started falling in love with it, it became my business, you know, and I was asked to speak all over the world on it. And I started writing books and, you know, Wiley came to me and said, hey, will you write a book on LinkedIn? And I write articles for, you know, all the big newspapers, not newspapers anymore, sorry, all the big uh, blogs and, and uh, you know, online media. And that was not necessarily loving LinkedIn at first, but loving what it did and how it could help people with growing their businesses. And it allowed me to really focus on what I did love, which was helping entrepreneurs build their businesses. And it also helped me, you know, speak and write, which are two things I also love doing too. So it's, you just have to be careful with the do what you love and the money will follow. Um, sometimes you find something you, you love, but it might take a while. <laughs> um, and and now what I'm really focusing on is how do we find those things that we forgot we loved or that we forgot were our gifts? And how do we create a business out of that? And of course, LinkedIn is such a great platform for that because you can create a brand, you can create a network, you can create content, you can create engagement, you can create an audience, you can create a newsletter. There's so much you can create right on LinkedIn. You can start there or 
you know, re-up there if you already have a LinkedIn presence, which I'm sure everybody watching or listening to this does, but you can oh, we'll begin that rebrand. It sounds like uh, LinkedIn, like you said, as you as you learn more about it, it kind yeah. of hooked you in and you realized that there was a good opportunity for it. And what yeah. what sort of branch have you taken now? Because I see that you, you help people be more productive. Um, yeah. So what is it that you are, uh, your, your core focus, what is it on? Yeah. So right now I'm really about helping entrepreneurs find their voice and rebrand themselves primarily through LinkedIn. Cause like I said, it was a, it was an easy fit. Now our company, Vengresso, um, is we have now shifted into a productivity tool, which I'll talk about how that happened. Cause you might be going, wait, what, <laughs> what, what do they have to do with each other? And what I love about our software is we started out as an auto text expander, but now we have uh, an engagement feature and we also have um, a posting in AI, doesn't everyone, an AI <laughs> feature as well. And so it really helps with the engagement with people on LinkedIn. And that's, I think that's the biggest problem I see with people using LinkedIn, especially if they are kind of new to it or they're using automation tools or things like that, is they get on LinkedIn and they sell, 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 sell. And it's not about selling. It's about creating relationships. So ironically, you know, we were a social selling company and we worked primarily with enterprise and international you know, sales teams. But what we talked about was creating relationships. And that's why we created um, Fly Message, which is our software tool, Fly Message, originally to, to support our, our learners because you know, they'd, we'd give them the workbook and then they'd have to customize the workbook and then they'd have to put the workbook into some other third party app out there and then they'd have to learn blah, 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 blah. it was just like very long and complicated. And let's keep it, you know, let's keep it simple for the, the salespeople. Uh, so, let's keep it simple for our entrepreneurs. And so we, we were like, well, let's build this software so that we can make it easy for our learners to be able to engage with people and to be able to access that content right at their fingertips in a matter of seconds, you know, not just on LinkedIn, but wherever they are online. And then we found more than just salespeople were using it. And we had Mario Martinez, who's our CEO, we had a little conversation. We're like, well, you know, yes, we can keep doing training and we're not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, we have thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours into our training program, but why not bring and, and elevate that software? And then, of course, AI, kaboom. Um, and so then we realized, oh, there's so many other things that we can do to help people engage. And so, like I said, we've got the ability to when you're on LinkedIn and you find someone's post that you like, instead of reading through the whole post and thinking about a good response and, you know, worrying about spelling errors and trying to figure out what hashtags to use, the Fly Engage tool does that for you. Right. And we all know, not just salespeople, we all know that entrepreneurs, when you're on LinkedIn, you have to engage re regularly, consistently, enable in, in order to get more people engaging on your content with, with LinkedIn's algorithm. But oh, who wants to post? And then you're like in ChatGPT, maybe doing something else or one of the other ones. And you're like, oh crap, I need to get back into LinkedIn and write a post. And then it's back and forth and back. And again, it's not seamless. And so why we created the the Fly Post AI was so it would be seamless. You're in LinkedIn, you're like, oh crap, I need to write a post. You go in, you put in what you want to talk about, you put in some elements and it writes the post for you. And so what used to take minutes, maybe 30, 40 minutes, takes maybe three or four minutes after you've customized it. So all of that comes in supporting entrepreneurs. I love entrepreneurs. Um, we can still support salespeople and all that stuff. But to me, it's it's helping the people that I work with engage with their audience so that they can create those relationships, so they can, they can create those conversations, which eventually lead to the sale. So I find that quite um, quite interesting. So when you were working with people paragliding, you were like, no. Yeah. Uh -uh. But now you're still working with people in a different sphere, but it looks like you're very passionate about it. You love what you do. Yeah. Um, you're very animated when you talk about it. And, and, and I think that's brilliant. Can you tell us a little bit about what it was like, you know, growing? Once, once you come up with this concept and you started putting everything together, there were obviously some challenges, some things you might not have expected. Can you tell us oh, about yeah. that journey? Quite a few little growing pains. 
Well, first of all, you know, as a training company, we had 44 employees worldwide and very much needed each and every individual. As soon as, and we didn't think, you know, we didn't think about the downsizing aspect that would have to happen. And, you know, all these people were amazing. And we had spent years because we, we were in business, what, five years before we made the transition over you know, we had this amazing employees and, and amazing contractors. We had so much deep experience between my, Mario, myself, and our other partners who ended up exiting out, but um, so much deep experience in training and LinkedIn and social selling and marketing. I mean, had a couple marketing books, um, speaking, you know, that was our wheelhouse. And we all were very, very experienced in it. And then all of a sudden we're software. Which, you know, we didn't have a CTO. <laughs> we, we didn't have tech, the technical background. So we probably made the shift either too early or too late. I don't know. But we went through a lot of growing pains, realizing we didn't have the right personnel on the one direction. We had way too many personnel on the other. So we had to let people go just because, I mean, it, th there was literally no job for them anymore. And some really, really, really good people. And that hurt a lot. Um, and so, you know, we offered opportunities to reframe, but for some of them, it just, it didn't make any sense at all. So we shrunk from, you know, 44 people down to, I think, seven or eight. That was hugely painful. Um, the other thing that was painful was <laughs> probably launched at the wrong time because all of a sudden, you know, the, the, the economy went bloop. And what our competitor, one of our competitors who had... No, they they were not profitable at all. I mean, I don't think they even had any clients yet. Got seven million dollars, and we had, you know, we were we were making a million on the training side, maybe four or five hundred thousand on the software side, and we can't. I mean, start to try to get funding. It's just it was it was completely the wrong time. Like all of a sudden, just you know, banks were failing and people were not investing. So it was like, okay, time to bootstrap, <laughs> stop getting paid. Um, and then, you know, the third thing I think, which was challenging was we love AI. AI is a big, big part of what we're doing, but now everyone is doing AI. So had we started with the AI aspect of it, just two or three, well, yeah, just really two or three months earlier, um, I think it would have made a big difference as far as investing. So it meant that each and every person in the company, you know, we had to put in the hours. We had to learn new new talents. We had to learn new skill sets. We had to reframe what we were doing. We really, really had to bootstrap. Um, but now with the new products, things are like, oh, we can breathe again. But yeah, we went from making good money to, can I eat this week? You know, and that's just what you have to do as an entrepreneur. So we thought we were really well educated. Mario Martinez is all about the numbers. And like he did his research, but we couldn't foresee the crash, right? I guess we could have foreseen it. But, and we didn't foresee the crash. Um, who could have seen how AI would have exploded? Like that's, there hasn't, social media wasn't even that big a deal. Like maybe, maybe the internet was as big a deal as AI is, but like who could have seen that coming? So it's, it, it's you just you have to do what you have to do and then you keep moving forward and eventually <laughs> things work out you'll know when you know hey, if it works. you'll know when you know you'll know when you know that's quite an intense situation uh, yeah or a, a roller coaster that yeah. you won and um now you, you you mentioned a bit about um the people you were working with yeah. And what's happened with your numbers? Things are okay now? Have you got some good people around you? Oh, we have the best people. Yeah. And that was the other thing. We hired someone that we maybe, that was the other thing. We we hired someone that was not as competent as we thought they were. Um, once we, we released him and we brought on our new team of developers, it was a big difference. And you know this, right? It's like, your software engineers, your developers, if you have the wrong person, it can kill your business. And so once we found the right people, game changer but we probably went for four to six months with the wrong people and you know breaking software and it, the, none of that is good when you're trying to, to to launch a new company so oh we have the right people now we have the right expertise we've got funding our our you know our users are climbing every day so yay well done. deep breath but it it certainly can be challenging and you just you know, you just have to believe in yourself. And if you've got other people on your team, 
you got to have that open. Uh, we we were having you know team meetings once or twice a week. Like here's where we are. Here's what's happening. You know what are your feelings? Do you want to stick with us? Do you you know we we allowed as much freedom as possible as much freedom as possible with our employees. Did they want to stick with us? Did they want to go? You know all all the things. So. It's, uh, you know, you just have to keep that communications open <laughs> during these these pivots. So I'm glad to hear that. So things are on the upside. Or the oh, for sure. Yeah. Upward yeah. At the moment. That's great news yeah. for you. And yeah. um, if we look into the future, what are you looking at trend-wise? Yeah. And while I love the software and, and you know, I will always use it and I will also always support it, um, I realize that working with these entrepreneurs I've missed that part of it because, you know, we were working with with sales teams of, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 people. So the working one on one, I super love doing. And so I can see myself, um, you know, once once everything is is settled and steady and growing, doing that, starting to work again with um, entrepreneurs and especially people like me. Right. So women. (laughs) <laughs> in their um, 50s and their 60s, even in their 70s and 80s, who have been very successful at building companies, but are like, okay, I was put on this earth for something and I know I need to be doing it and I don't know what it is. <laughs> and because I've got the background in marketing and because I've got the background in sales and because I've got the background in LinkedIn and because I've got the background in branding, I can work them through the and and actually I've I've got background I've I've even got a life coaching certification so I can take them through that process. I'm old. I've done a lot. I can take them through that process, you know, making the pivots and the shifts that are necessary and and using tools like LinkedIn to um to build new networks, to to build new brands, um, to engage with the new networks and the new brands. Of course, using Ven Gresso's fly message, fly, fly engage and 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 uh, fly post. But um, but to do it powerfully, like there has never been a better time, entrepreneurs listening to this, there has never been a better time to explode your business. With the onset of AI, there's so much you can do. Even two years ago, you know, I would start writing blog posts for Vengresso and then they would go to our marketers who are actually much better spellers and, and, and gram- <laughs> grammar people. And, and then it would go to our, our marketing team to do the, to do the image. And, 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 you know, the whole process was like so time consuming and, and exhausting. And now I can, using AI, I can write a post, get a nice image, throw in some hyperlinks in like half an hour. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Um, and it's better written and and has better grammar and spelling. It's crazy. We have tools like LinkedIn and Instagram and Facebook and and TikTok even to engage and to 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 engage with our followers to share our content. We don't have to pay so much. Well, we do have to pay to play a little bit, but you know, it's not like you have to get a billboard or a uh, you know a bus sign anymore. So there, I mean, there's just so many ways and options and we can have workers from all over the world um, help support us. So it's just, it's such a perfect time for entrepreneurs. So to answer your question, you've probably learned, I don't do short answers. To answer your question, I'm really looking forward to working um, with those female entrepreneurs and helping them craft and create their their new businesses. That's terrific. So um, <laughs> Vivica, I've got one more for you. Well, I'll yes. Do. A question and a prompt. And yes. the question is, and I ask a lot of people this, if I had to write a saying, an expression yeah. on your bedroom wall, you have to wake up every day to see this writing on the wall. You have no choice. What does it say? You are the gift. That just came to me because nothing happens without that inner belief that you are the gift and you have the gifts to create the change that needs to be created in your world and the world around you. Yeah, without that, it's all just stuff and it 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 won't hold. The center will not hold if you're not at the center. So either, you know, you are the center the, <laughs> or you are the gift, but but that's what it comes to. That's what it comes to. That was a little more woo-woo than I was expecting to say, but there you go. And that's why you are the life coach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so before we go, if there's anything um, for our viewers and our listeners um, to get in touch or any direction yeah. you can give them if they're interested. Check out the Fly Message. I mean, I know it's my software and everything, but 
<laughs> I freaking love. There's a lot of other software I use too. But yeah, I just, I love Fly Message. It's at, you just go to our website, www.vengresso, V-E-N-G-R-E-S-O.com. And you'll, you'll get, you'll see the whole suite. Um, there's a free version of it. It's just limited to how many times you can use the different tools. But even our paid versions are like super inexpensive. I mean, I literally paid for, and I shouldn't have to because I'm the co-founder. I mean, I did this on purpose, but I paid for another license for, you know, <laughs> the, the, the the next movement. So it's so it's so worth it. I freaking love it. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me, like literally just put Vivica Von Rosen into Google and you'll see all the different ways uh, through LinkedIn's probably the easiest. Um, but yeah, how, you know, just 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 Google me like I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to spell my name right. That's the problem. V-I-V-E-K-A. V O N R O S E N. That's the problem. I tell you, it's if been you do V I V I C A, you'll get my cousin. Completely different. It's been crazy this evening. It's been it's it's really has. It's been a, an absolute pleasure. Um, I've loved listening to your stories and your enthusiasm is infectious. Ah, thank you. And um, I really do. Um, from all of us here, like you know, we're we're wishing you the best. We'll be keeping our eyes on you. I'm going to now follow you on LinkedIn, and I'm yes. going to in, I can find over there and do something about my weird fishing pictures. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, we actually, we have a great resource, um, which you'll get if you go to vengrosso.com, but we have a chat GPT prompts for LinkedIn. Uh, so yeah, that 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 will help you. <laughs> and it will take, it'll take minutes instead of like weeks. <laughs> Vivica, again, thank you so much. And uh, you keep well, okay? Awesome. I certainly will. Thank you so much.